Hi, this is James Clark, broker owner with Century 21 All in Clark, Fine Homes and Estates, here with your monthly market snapshot for the estates at Wakiva Park. So why am I providing this to you? Well, one, I'm one of your neighbors. Um, I just recently moved into the community. I'm actually in the second house on the right. I wanna make sure that all my fellow neighbors in the community have a really good uh, understanding of what's going on in the marketplace here in Wakiva Park. That way you can make some really well-informed decisions. So I'm gonna be doing that all throughout 2019, but first let's take a quick look back at 2018 so you get a good understanding of where things sit uh, currently. So a little bit of bad news on that front. Um, home sales were actually down 50% in 2018 when compared to 2017. 2017, there were 10 sales. Um, and then there were only five properties that sold in 2018. So a little bit of bad news on that front, but a little bit of good news on this front. Um, average sales price is actually up 15%, which is actually a good thing, not a bad trade-off. Uh, the actual average sales price was uh, 619,000 in 2018. That was up pretty drastically from 536,000 in 2017. Now here's a pretty important number for everybody to watch and monitor. And it's one I'm gonna be reporting on each and every month. That's the average price per square foot. So it was right around $157 a square um, in 2018. And basically what you do is you take that number, multiply it times your living square footage, and then you have a good baseline for what your home's value should be. Now, obviously with upgrades and the things that you have in your home, that's obviously gonna impact your home's value. Uh, and if you need uh, some assistance in doing that because you've got a ton of upgrades, give me a call. Um, I can literally ride my bike up the street and, and come check it out and give you a really good idea as to what your home's value is. But this will give you a good baseline. So what is the time on market? Basically, how long does it take to sell properties in Wonkaiba Park? Last year, it took 50 days. Here's the good news. Uh, in Orlando, the, the time on market is 60 days. So for a luxury community like that to sell in less than 50 days is pretty impressive stuff. So that, that number was actually down 35% from 2017. So things are selling a little bit faster in Wonkaiba Park. However, that's for the properties that do sell. And remember, we were down five sales from the year before. Here's a number that's a little concerning. Nine properties failed to sell in 2018. That's actually pretty concerning. So look, there's only three reasons why properties don't sell. Marketing and exposure, condition, and price. So usually, uh, all the properties that I've seen in Wakaba Park are gorgeous. They're well-maintained properties, so that's not a factor. And usually marketing and exposure is an important thing, but it's nowhere near as important as price. So properly pricing a house and then making consistent price drops until you get that thing sold is usually the recipe for success. So unfortunately, a lot of people aren't guided well, not only in regards to what you list at, but doing the consistent price drops. Everybody thinks you gotta list high so you can negotiate down. That's unfortunately um, improper advice. You actually have to list right where you need to sell at because of something called a list price sale price ratio. And what you need to know is usually properties sell for within 98% of what they're listed at. So price where you list at is absolutely crucial. That's why you gotta have somebody that knows what they're doing in that regard. So we gotta watch this. We wanna make sure this doesn't happen again and we'll have a park next year. And here's another distinct correlation between properties that failed to sell and those that sold. Remember, those that sold, sold in 50 days. The stuff that expired took 216 days before it actually came off the market. So that tells me improper pricing without um, consistent price drops that unfortunately led to those numbers. So. Here's some good news. 2019 is looking like it's gonna be a good year. There's currently five properties uh, on the market. I will make sure it'll keep you well informed as to what's going on with those properties and anything new that shakes out with the community or the surrounding area that could affect it. So listen, if there's anything I or my family can do to help you or your family, again, I'm a neighbor, so please don't hesitate to stop by. As I said, I'm the second house on the right. Or listen, call, text, or email me. Um, or better yet, visit MarkhamWoodsLife.com for more information. Listen, thanks so much for taking your time this, to watch this video. Take care. God bless. You ain't seen nothing like this.